Hi. Just before this lovely little audio starts, I wanted to let you know that I have a Patreon with a bunch of paid member exclusive audios, a Discord for paid members only, and Thursday polls every week, except for this week, because it's finals week and I got way too distracted. So I, uh, I thought of this idea and I asked my Discord about it and they were like, that sounds so sweet. So here you go. I made this little video for y'all. Anyway, enough of my incessant babbling. If that interests you, there's a link in the description. It's only five bucks a month. But if not, that is okay too. And without further ado, enjoy the audio. There we go. <sighs> Christ almighty. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. I... I forgot you were still here. <sighs> I am so sorry. I probably scared that out of you. No, 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 no. Um, it's, it's fine. I just didn't expect you to stay so late. Uh, yeah, it's... It's only an hour over time, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, um... <clears throat> so, how'd she behave today? She, uh, give you any trouble, unusual? No? Really? Really? She's in bed. Damn. <laughs> I've struggled to get her in bed before 11, let alone 9. Damn, that is impressive. Aww, that's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, she really likes you. She talks about you a lot. She's like, <laughs> When this shit coming over? When this shit coming over? <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She's so dang cute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's a good little attached. Hey, that's good. You are a pretty available sitter. Yeah. Oh, it's not weird. I know babysitting's usually a thing that 16, 17 year olds usually do, but it's fine for someone your age to do this. Yeah, you're still young. I'm not wrong with it. Only two years younger than me. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know how old I was. Do I look older than I am? You know what? Fair. I get that a lot. The voice and the general stature. Yeah. I get that. Not many people think I'm still in my 20s. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just very long day at work. <laughs> Did you just ask if you want to talk about it? Sweetheart, your, your shift is over. You don't have to be here. I don't pay you to talk to me. I pay you to talk to the baby. <laughs> You have no responsibility for me. Come on. 
Look, I, you've been at this for hours. I know you're tired. Now, even if she is very well behaved around you, she is an energetic little demon. <laughs> I, I know that will wear anybody down. Come on, go home. All right, all right. You can stay for a little bit if you want to talk to me. That's fine. Yeah. I work in an Amazon warehouse. Yeah, the job sucks just as much as it sounds. I do a lot of moving from boxes from place to place. A lot of moving. Like a lot of moving. <laughs> If the box is able to be picked up by me, my boss tells me that that is enough for me to carry it into the warehouse or out of the warehouse into the truck or whatever. And some boxes are deceptively heavy. I work out a lot, but some of those suckers gotta be 50, maybe 60 pounds. And the box is like this big. Yeah, I don't know what people are shipping. For all I know, I've helped deliver bombs. I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. But eh, you never know nowadays. I doubt it. I usually scan the boxes just to make sure what's in them is what's in them. You know. Yeah. It it pays okay. You know. I uh, I've risen up the ranks a little bit. I still do a lot of uh, the box moving, but my rank is a bit higher than just a. I guess a storage employee or whatever you call my position. I make a fair amount. Just wish I made a little more. Yeah, it's it's what I gotta deal with. It's whatever. Yeah. Hey. You know the old adage, lift with your legs, not your back. That has saved my life several times. If I didn't know how to properly deadlift, I'd be dead right now. <laughs> Yeah. No, yeah, I work out. The spare time I do. My job usually takes up the whole day. I also try to work extra hours. But, you know, A, I, I try to get off work a little early sometimes to see my baby. And B, you know, I like working out. It, it's like a form of meditation for me. You know, helps get out a lot of, uh, the negative emotions I might be feeling or impending senses of dread and that fun stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm, uh... I'm saving up money. Yeah, I've been very stingy recently. Bought her a few tours that she's wanted some Lego sets. Lego's so damn expensive now. I don't know. I, I still like I still like building them with her. Like, you know, every now and again, I'll get a set that's kind of for me. That's kind of like you know, it's recommended for older ages, a bit past her age gap. But you know, I don't I don't care. She'll watch me build. But she'll literally what like more often than not, she'll scoot the box over to me and watch me build them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so cute. She just like sit there on her on her belly with her little feet going back and forth. Just watch me build. <laughs> I built several cars for her. She's so creative. I got her a bucket full of Legos. Yeah, a bunch of two by twos. She loves <laughs> she loves building all sorts of stuff with that. She watches a a few older Minecraft YouTubers like uh I didn't watch oh, I didn't I didn't get her on any of the, the new like our YouTubers. I got her watching a uh, Stampy Longhead. Yeah. <laughs> he's what I grew up with back in the day. And he was like, you know, as far as I know, he's not like a, a pedophile or anything. He seems pretty clean. You know, and he's still, he's just a sweet man. So, um, I got her on a, the Quest series that they've been doing and she's, <laughs> she started to build a few of their builds with Lego. Like she tried to build their houses, the ones that's just their faces and bodies. And they're holding, like, the little ender dragon egg. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good, honestly. She's getting close. She just needs more blue and orange. I got the... 
And order it online. There's a there's a site where you can order specific amounts of specific bricks. Yeah, I dip on there every now and again. Anyway, yeah. With the occasional uh, expenditure of a Lego set, I try and save up money for a lot of things. Well, one of them is... Um, this might sound stupid, but... Well, this first part won't sound stupid. Um, I hate my job. <laughs> this is not what I want to be doing in my 20s. But, you know what? Whatever. I want to save up a lot of money. Because I want to make a video game. <laughs> yes, yes I do. I know it sounds dumb, but it's a passion project of mine. I've written a lot of it already, and I know a fair bit about programming, but the money's really just for, um, you know, I have a software I can make it in already, but I've tinkered around in it a fair amount. I just don't have the time to really invest in creating something quite yet, but the money's really for me to hire a few extra people that really um, help me get into it, you know? And, you know, I've talked to a few people who were just like, yeah, this can be mostly a passion project for us. But, you know, we would like a little bit of payment. I'm like, yeah, sure, that's fine. So I'm saving up a lot of money. And I mean a lot of money. Yeah, I've been working a while saving all this crap up. I need to save a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, so I run a, a little YouTube gig on the side. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, it's pretty easy, but it also rakes in a bit more cash, which, you know, I need. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, you know audio role plays where you talk to someone, well, someone talks to you and you just listen while you fall asleep or something? Yeah, I do that. <laughs> As you can tell, I got the voice for it, so. Hey, another source of income, I make like a few hundred a month. It's pretty good. No, 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 you don't want to, you don't wanna ask that. <laughs> don't ask about the game right now. I will rant for hours at it to you. Oh, I will. I will. <laughs> there is a lot to this thing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh no, yeah, um, yeah, no, I, I I understand. It's a it's an interesting question. Yeah, seeing a man in his twenties, not even that late in his twenties, with a baby that just turned six, and no mother. Questions tend to be risen. Yeah. Well, she had a mom, obviously. The kid is mine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, after she had the kid, you know, I know post the birthing process, there's a lot that goes on in the woman's biology. I understand that. And, you know, I was there for it. But afterwards, she just started to get kind of abusive. Not, like, physically. Well, occasionally, but, you know, she just, like, slapped me. She never straight up hit me. Well, yeah, I know, but it was mainly verbal abuse, and she would just get really angry. I think the stress of the kid just, like, kind of brought up an ugly side of her. Yeah. It was, uh, not something I want to see yeah I got her pregnant in college didn't mean to but you know whatever yeah I was just about to turn 20 and then you know 19 and then I'm a father <laughs> yeah but you know 
we realized that she was pregnant, we were both like, all right, we're going to buckle down. We were going to become fantastic parents. I dropped out of college for this kid, so did she. And we started working our butts off to try and give this kid a good life. But I think a part of her really hated that. A part of her just, like, got very bitter, you know. Because we were both very ambitious people. So. When it really started to settle in that she was giving up her life for this kid, she just kind of, I don't know, she just kind of got bitter, you know. And there'd be many times where she would berate me for... Sometimes it would go on for like three hours. About how lacking of a man I am. About how I don't deserve any respect. About how I am as unmasculine as a man can get. About how I can't take crap like a man should. She made the whole, She pulled the whole man card a lot. Yeah. I got used to it after a while, but it still got under my skin. And every now and again, you know, she'd slap me a few times. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can hug me. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, goodness. Oh, thank you. I needed that. Are you just gonna... You're gonna keep hugging me? I... <laughs> if, if that's what you want to do, sure. But, yeah. She, um... She only got worse and worse. You know? Taking more and more personal digs at me. Even... <laughs> even blaming me for some trauma that happened in my past, which is not cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she did that. Yeah, when that happened, I was like, okay, I'm getting a divorce. Because that one hurt really badly. You know, I had, I had confided in her, you know. I told her that whole story, and then she used it against me, and it just... I wanted to throw up. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> this is a story. I'm sorry. But long long and short of it, um, we went to court. I had a few very explicit um, voicemails from her. Not explicit as in, you know, we were doing naughty things. Explicit as in she was using very explicit language at me. And the court just kind of saw that, and, she, and they were like, oh, this woman's horrible. <laughs> so, you know, we got a divorce, and, you know, the court decided that I deserved full custody of the kid. Yeah. And she moved to Nebraska. <laughs> yeah, very weird place, I know, but she never wanted to see me again, or the kid. I know she she said a lot of mean things about the kid, but yeah, I know she still loves her, and part of me is sad that she won't be here for the development, but yeah, she got very spiteful, so the second she realized, oh, I can't get custody of my kid, screw all this, and she left. She was allowed to visit, but nope, not what she wanted, so she dipped. You are hugging me tighter. Thank you. Where did that come from? Uh, oh, come on. 
I know, I'm a masculine enough man. Yeah, I, I went to therapy for all this. I did. Ooh, ooh, okay, you have grabbed my face. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to say... <laughs> okay. I am a good enough man. Come on, really? If you could let go of my face, I'd be able to say it a little easier. I am a good enough man. Okay. <laughs> I am a good enough man. I am a good enough man. <sighs> How many times are we gonna... Okay, I'll just... Alright, alright. I am a good enough man. No, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just no one's been that sweet to me in, in a minute. Yeah. Um, no, no, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't had much time to dedicate. Like, you know, my friends are awesome. You know, they, they encourage me through all this, all this crap, you know. But, you know, no one's ever really, like, sat me down and really made me try to process that I'm a good man. <laughs> yeah, because I won't lie, sometimes I worry that I'm not enough for her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my parents were great, you know, my mom was awesome, so was my dad. And I loved having a mom and a dad. But the fact that she's missing out on half of that experience, it... It stings. She is my everything. She will always come first. No matter what. Sometimes I worry that I don't give her that. That I'm not a good enough father. Okay, okay. God, you're sweet. I read how sweet you were in your profile. I was wondering if all that was true, but... I haven't even seen what you are. Same goes for you. You're an incredible woman. You know, uh... Yeah, you, you've dedicated your life to babysitting kids. I mean, I know you babysit mine the most, but... And you're... Ugh, you're so damn understanding. Like, if I tell you, hey, I need you to look, her, look after her a few more hours, you have never complained. You have never said anything that is just like oh man I gotta go or like uh oh, it's just oh she's your favorite I assumed if you were willing to dedicate that much of your life to her but and gosh you're sweet you're so damn sweet yeah like even like you know after our texts of like me saying hey can you watch her a little bit longer and you're like sure you ask how my day was. You don't have to do that, but you do. Sometimes you'll check up on me and say, are you okay? Or how are you feeling? Just a little text like that, and I know I don't say much, but... I don't know what I feel cared about. I haven't felt that in a really long time.
You're incredible. And hey, one day or another, you will make a wonderful mother. Oh, you absolutely will. Are you kidding me? How sweet you are, how genuine, how much you care, how much you want to look into the little things. Not to mention you are flat out gorgeous. Was that weird to say, y you promise? Well, what about you was gorgeous? Are we fishing for compliments now? <laughs> well, you have extremely exquisite eyes. Oh yeah, they're like little pools that I can get lost in. Um, your face is, your face is very pretty. Yeah, it suits your personality so well. It's, it's roundness. And the way you pull into a smile. Your stature is very cute as well. Yeah. And that... That sweet hair. That beautiful hair. The little eyebrows. Your little nose. my daughter could have a mother like you. Yeah. I do. Okay. Um... <laughs> Whoa, that was so unprofessional. I am so sorry. No, 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 no. I, oh my God. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. That is so unprofessional. No, look, you're my, you're my daughter's babysitter. And like, yes, you are so damn pretty. And you are so damn sweet. And, oh God, your personality is amazing. But, I, I, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I mean, I, I won't lie, I've, I've taken interest in you ever since the first time you looked after her and she had a glowing review for you. You don't have to take pity on me. I, I, I'm fine being single for a while longer. It's, I know it's, it's tough for anyone to... Okay. I was going to say it's tough for anyone to love me. It is not tough for anyone to love me. It is not tough for anyone to love me. It is not tough for anyone to love me. Okay. Um. So d don't feel obligated in any part of this. I mean. I would love to 
date you. I really would. And I, I, I really want to. Cause you're so, you're so damn cute. Um, but, you know, we don't have to rush into titles or anything, okay? We can take it slow. And we, we don't even have to tell her about this, okay? But I, I won't lie, she will be very happy that Daddy enjoys you just as much as she enjoys you. Yep, she calls me Daddy. No, I did not. No, I did not mean that. I did. I did not mean. I am sorry. It probably sounded like that. No, I was not calling myself Daddy in this situation. She she calls me Daddy. Yeah, she also calls me Dada, Dabber, <laughs> Dabby. <laughs> Sometimes she'll get the D in there. Sometimes she flubbers and, and does the B. Gabby. <laughs> yeah, she's damn cute. But, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind dating you. I won't lie. A, a crush on you has been forming in me for a hot second. <laughs> yeah, if I'm honest. She's asleep, right? Would you want to um, make out on my couch a little bit? Scamp awoken. <laughs> she doesn't know I'm home yet. You, oh, you, come on, you don't have to go deal with her. Sweetheart, come on. <laughs> alright, alright. Yeah, go read her bedtime story. I'll be, um, here. Waiting for you. <laughs> Thank you for a night. You're an angel. 